most people come to my you know post and be like why do you like using a pwm solar charge controller why not use mppt why not use this for those of you that have been following me for long you know my defense is always i know how to use each of these charge controller and i know where to use each of these this system you are seeing right here have been here for the past five years because we did this installation around september 2019 the only thing that had problem which we have have to change was the inverter the inverter was affected by lightning even when lightning affected the inverter the charge controller still didn't get any effect from the lightning and it has been working very fine for the past uh, five years and this is a pwm solar charge controller not an mppt most people will be like hey, there is a wastage of energy there is this there is that this is just around 10. my battery is already on float you can see it very well it's already on float it means my batteries are charging very well for the past five years so what are you guys defending about mppt the only thing you have to understand is where to apply each of these that matters on the roof we have a 1.2 kilowatt of solar energy coming to this solar charge controller on a daily basis this charge controller is not hitting at all this charge controller now will reduce the current coming from the solar panels to keep the battery at float charge which is the maximum current coming right now is just 3.0 and once this battery go below uh maybe let's say 23 or 24 immediately this solar charge controller may allow around 20 to 25 current to pass that is how a pwm works down here we have a two unit of uh, 200 ounce quanta battery and you all know that quanta is one of the best brand when it comes to uh solar inverter batteries so all you have to understand is how to use these two type of charge controller. If you like, I'll give from morning till evening. I'll keep using a PWM because it doesn't fail. This is a proof that charge controller does not have any negative effect on your battery. If you don't know how to use it, you don't know how to use it. There is no point arguing about it.